Okay, numbers 13 and 14 are word problems, so we need to define variables for the missing things and set up an equation and solve them. Number 13, two cars pass exit 20 on the turnpike at 8 a.m. One is going north, the other one is going south at a speed that's 4 kilometers per hour faster than the northbound one. At 8.45, which is three quarters of an hour past 8 o'clock, the cars are 117 kilometers apart. Find the speed of the southbound car. Okay, this is a distance equals rate times time problem. So distance equals rate times time. And we're going to set up a chart. Car 1. This is the northbound one, car two, that's the southbound car, and we're going to do rate times time equals distance, and here we need a total row. The total distance is 117 kilometers, so the units for distance is kilometers, the units for rate is kilometers per hour, and the units for time is hour. So they each travel three quarters of an hour. Okay, The first car, we don't know how fast he's going. Say he's going at a rate of r kilometers per hour. The second car, the car that's going southbound, is going four kilometers faster, so faster than the first car. So if the first car is going r kilometers, the second one is going r plus four kilometers. Now we're going to use the equation d equals r times t for the third column. In other words, we're going to multiply the r by the t so for the first car, that's 3 fourths times r. For the second car, it's 3 fourths times r plus 4. Now we need an equation. Well, we know that they were 117 miles apart after 3 quarters of an hour. That means when we add these two, we're going to get 117. So let's write that up because that's going to be our equation. 3 fourths R plus plus 3 fourths times r plus 4 equals 117. Now we're going to solve this equation and that will give us r. What we're going to do to get rid of these ugly fractions, we're going to multiply everything by 4. So we're going to multiply both sides by 4. In the first one, the 4 and the 3 fourths cancel, so we get 3r. We, we're going to distribute that 4 to both of these. So in the second one, the 4 and the, um, the, four and the numerator with the 4 and the denominator cancel. We just get 3 times r plus 4 equals 117 times 4, which is 468. Now we're going to distribute this 3. We get 3r plus 3r plus 12 equals 468. We're going to combine like terms. That's 6r plus 12 equals 468. Oops. And we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. So we get 6r equals 
56 and then divide both sides by 6 so R equals 76 now if we look at our chart R stood for the rate of the first car the car that was going northbound in the question they asked us for the speed of the car that's going southbound so that would be R plus 4 so we have to add 4 to that 4 to 76 so the speed of car 2 is 80 kilometers per hour now notice that's kilometers per hour so that's not very fast I hope you teenagers don't think that this car is going it's it's a lot slower than 80 miles per hour okay let's do the second problem a rectangle whenever they talk about rectangles always draw the rectangle hopefully you guys do a better job than me is half as wide long half as wide as it is long so if the width is W then the length is 2W or you could do L for length and then one half L for the width uh, but then you would have to be dealing with fractions which is not as pretty but you should get the same answer no matter which method you use now they said if both so this is the original rectangle now if both the length and the width are decreased by two so we have a shorter width and a shorter length they're both decreased by two then the area decreases by 68 centimeter squares square well the the area originally area is length times width you should know that for area of a rectangle so in the original rectangle is 2w times w that's 2w squared okay now in the new rectangle it's decreased by 68 centimeters the, so the original one was 2w squared its area and now this new one is decreased by 68 centimeters uh, square centimeters so we need to set up an equation well the area of this new rectangle is length times width the length is 2w minus 2 and the width is w minus 2 and the area is 2w squared minus 68 now we're going to foil this and solve for w so 2w times w is 2w squared 2w times negative 2 is negative 4w negative 2 times w is negative 2w and negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 we just copy the rest so if we subtract 2w from both sides 2w squared from both sides they cancel from both sides and we're left with negative 4w minus 2w which gives us negative 6w plus 4 equals negative 68 subtract 4 from both sides we get negative 6w equals negative 72 divide both sides by negative 6 that gives us w equals 12 now in the question it said what is the um, original let's see what did it ask find the original length and the width so this is the original width and the original length is 2w which is 24 and it's centimeters the units okay